Hello students, in this video we are going to see the solved exercise of lesson number 5, server side scripting PHP language. So let us start with the first exercise. So the first section is filling the blanks. PHP is dash side scripting language. So the name of the lesson itself tells you that PHP is a server side scripting language. So here the answer is going to be server. So I'll just write the answers which will help you to understand more properly. Next is PHP is dash language that is there is no need for any compilation as we have already seen that uh, we don't require any compilation for javascripting language in the same way PHP is also an interpreted language which do not require any compilation for it. Next, a variable starts with dash sign by a variable name. So basically, as we declare a variable, we have to start the variable with a dollar sign. Okay, so this is how we assign a variable. Next is, and dash is a variable which can hold more than one value at a time. So, a array is only a variable which can hold more multiple values in a single time. Okay. Next, information can be passed to functions through dash. So, if you want to pass any information through the function, if you write if function, if you write while function, then you have to give the arguments in it. Okay. So, whatever information you want to pass, you are going to pass with the help of this arguments. Now, let us come across question number 2, that is straight true or false. So let us see the statements of true or false. So the first statement is PHP is a platform dependent scripting language. This is false because PHP can run in multiple platforms. It is not a platform dependent language which runs on a single platform. Next dollar underscore post is an array of variables passed via the URL parameters. So this is false. Dollar underscore get. Dollar underscore get is the right answer for URL parameters, not post. So this is false. Next is a function is a block of statement that can be used repeatedly in a program. This is exactly true if you want to uh, do the same thing repeatedly. So you basically write those things in a function. So there is no need for you to write the code repeatedly. Okay, the function saves a lot of time and it does a lot of work. So if you want to give any repeated statements again and again in your program, you need to require you need to use the function in it. Next is PHP cannot be embedded along with HTML tags. No, PHP can be embedded. So this is false. Uh, you can uh, write PHP along with the HTML tags. Next, get should never be used for sending sensitive information. Yes, this is exactly true because whatever uh, you send by get, uh, basically these are the methods which are used by the form tags. Okay. So, to get the information, so uh, any type of sensitive message like your password, okay, such type of thing should never be given in the get because it is uh, seen, seen by everyone. So, because of that, such type of sensitive messages should not be sent by get. Instead, you can use the post, post method. Post method takes care of your security, confidentiality and integrity. So post is the most important thing which can be used. Next, come, we'll come across question number three, multiple choice question. The program file of PHP has dash extension. Yes. So if you are writing any program in PHP, you are going to save it by dot PHP extension. Okay. Next question. A variable declared dash a function has a global scope. So any variable which you uh, place outside a function you call it as global and when it is placed inside then you call it as local so the answer here is outside only the variable should be outside your function next question 
the dash function returns a part of a string so this is a substring substring means a string which is already there and you want a small part of it so the function is a substring function so let us come across multiple choice questions so multiple choice question first answer the dash and dash are the valid data types in php so you have various type uh, data types in php so out of them the valid data type here are array and integer so i'll just write array and integer for character you have string you don't use varchar you have a string for character okay next is single line comment in php is possibly using so you are you going to use single line comment with the help of those signs this is backslash double backslash and hashtag sign okay so this is the hashtag sign which we use for the single line comment okay now we'll come across the next mcq with the three correct options so let us see the first one in php there are three types of arrays so in php we have the array section where we have indexed array that is option number 1 then we have the associative array that is option number c and then finally we have the multi dimensional array okay that is optional number d so these are the types of arrays which we have in php next question for three options are the scope the scope of variables can be dash so the scope can be basically local global local global and static okay these are the scopes of the variable so this is all about the exercise then you have a theoretical part that is the features of php in that you can write as this clients or the server side scripting language it is an open source language it can be used in multiple platforms so all the things of related to php you can write in this then you have the rules to declare the variables that the variable should start with the dollar sign it can consist of alpha numerical values the underscores is allowed and uh, the other characters are not allowed means special characters so like that you can write then server side scripting you can write what are the data types which are been supported like uh, in integer array string so these are the data types which is supported by php then you can write that explain any two string manipulation functions so you can write sub uh, sub str which is going to give you a part of a string you can write a str pose which will give the position of the string so like that you can give the uh, any two functions of your string and explain them and here we have a coding section that you have to write a php code so this part i'll be posting it in the next video soon and i'll give you the link in the description box so this is all about for today's video i hope it was helpful to all of you so these are the answers if you want you can take a, a view of it again and uh, solve it in your notebook so this is all about the lesson number 5 server side scripting php for 12th standard science thank you for watching do subscribe the channel